Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite um, toy lines and cartoons from the 80s growing up. Absolutely loved watching this show. And we're looking at the Centurions. The toy line and the show actually both came out in 1986. There's about 60 plus episodes for the cartoon. I believe the miniseries is out um, on DVD right now. The animation's great. It's done by um, Sunrise Production, the same um, company that did Brave Gundam. So it's um nice looking. They also had a DC comic that was out for a little while. But um the story is basically is basically about this um evil guy named Doc Terror and his henchman hacker who are trying to take over the earth and these three heroes um wearing these exo frame suits call down these assault weapon systems from Skybolt, this rotating kind of fortress thing in space, um become man and machine power extreme and they take on Doc Terror and his minions. So Kind of cool storyline. Toy line here is done by Kenner. Very nice toy line. Um, this is Ace McCloud. He is the air expert. Um, very nice looking fig. I like the color scheme. He is about a seven inch fig, so he really doesn't fit with any kind of other toy line, unfortunately. But um, very nice. You can see the exoframe suit here. He's got all these ports everywhere, which was just fantastic when I was a kid. Um, but we'll get into that in a second. His articulation real quick, he's got movement in the arms, in and out at the shoulder, elbow joint, um, rotate his leg forward and back at the hip, and he's got a knee um, joint. Head can move up and down and side to side. So, What was so cool about these figs back in the day was the fact that they had all these assault weapon systems. Now, he came with the um, assault weapon system called Sky Knight, which Essentially, he has this backpack, these two thrusters, his helmet, this bomb, this um, gun, this kind of gun thing. I don't know what to call it, but and two missiles. And the cool thing about this is you can position these, put these things anywhere you like. Um, just let your imagination go wild, and that's what I loved about this series. I loved about the toys. Um, you can mix and match, and then there's also um, other assault weapon systems you can buy, which is really cool. But um, what he looks like in the show is, put that on, this goes in the front, that goes there, this goes in the back, put his helmet on, put his missiles on, and this is essentially how he looks in the show. This is what Sky Knight looks like. And it's pretty cool, but again, you can put the thrusters on his legs, you can do whatever you want, which is so cool. Nice cool thing is the ports through his chest here are actually interrelated um, through a um, nice cool mechanism spring, so you can rotate this around so you can see that the front's moving, his wings are actually moving down. And with some of the other characters, I know with like Max Ray, if you have his um, torpedo on the back, and you have this um, piece on the front you can actually rotate and actually fire off the um, torpedo, which is pretty sweet. But um, I thought that was kind of a cool cool little idea by Kenner. And you can position them in however you want. Real quick, size comparison. Here he is next to DC Classic Deathstroke, who's a 6-inch fig. So you can see how big he is. And here he is, even next to um, Masters of the Universe Classic and Ram Man. So, very nice. Do like the um, do like these figs. I love the show, but um, I'll be doing some more reviews of the other teammates of Max Ray, who is the um, sea expert, and Jake Rockwell, who is the uh, land and doctor and hacker and all that. But just kind of wanted to um, showcase this guy real quickly. He was my favorite out of the three, and um, so. This has been just a quick look at the um, Centurion Ace McCloud here with Sky Knight. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later.